What is going on guys? Chris here. Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be covering hype. I don't know why we haven't covered hype on the channel other than just announcing that we're in hype, but you know, people might be interested in, uh, you know, hearing about hype. If you guys don't know and you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe before even watching this video. Okay. That's first of all. Second of all, if you guys don't know, I am the general manager for the esports and entertainment organization Hype Unit. Um, I would call us a relatively smaller esports org. As of, and the only reason I say smaller is because as of four or five months ago, we weren't in any esports games at all. Well, no, that's not fair to say. Maybe like six months. So we've had a lot of growth. <clears throat> A lot of growth over these past four or five months. Uh, I came on in hype in February-ish, like the beginning of February, and we had just acquired a Smite team. That Smite team over this past week, last Sunday, officially secured their place in the mid-season invitational for Smite for console. So how it's going to work is we're going to be going to Atlanta competing against some minor league teams with the possibility of competing against some uh, pro league teams and then after that about you know two weeks ago or so we just acquired a Paladins minor league team that also qualified for the mid-season invitational uh, LAN so Paladins is a different game a bit like Overwatch so another team, two teams right now. Two teams, one Smite, one Paladins, both go into a LAN here pretty soon. Obviously, we'll have our jerseys on said players. So we'll have our brand out at a, at a LAN event for the first time, which is very exciting. And then, again, I'm going to keep saying and then because we just have more and more things we've done over these past few weeks, aside from these past few months. We just picked up a player called Trey Pound who competes in the fighting game community, specifically at this point in Mortal Kombat 11. He just won the open bracket at Momocon, and he will be competing in the CEO Gaming LAN. It's the second biggest, as far as I'm aware, LAN for fighting games. And then he will be competing at EVO, which is the biggest fighting game tournament, basically, of the year which is held in Las Vegas. Uh, the other one's held in Daytona. That'll be happening over the next month or two. So as these lands, make sure you guys are following Hype Unit on Twitter. That way, once we tweet out, you know, like obviously when our teams between Paladin, Smite, and Trey Pound are competing, you guys can go there and support them. So three acquisitions. Uh, we almost have uh you know we almost entered a call of duty team into anaheim but it was it was way too short notice uh it just wasn't a it wasn't a thing we wanted to you know half-ass it and, and go in without all the info without proper scouting and stuff that's just not what we do we don't but we did have an opportunity to send a team to anaheim we did not do that at this point but um at the at the rate we're heading keep an eye out because we are going to be we got we this past few months has been crazy. It, between me and Cope and, and even a few of the others, every day it's a call with a team, you know, in, in a different game looking to reach out to see if that's something we'd be interested in. We have sponsorships, partnerships, all the above, just one after another after another. So another bit of exciting news, aside from all of the acquisitions of a smite team which we've already had for a while but they're they're qualifying for LAN, uh, a paladins team a player within the fighting game community we also announced that we got partnered with g fuel so if you are a regular of g fuel you can now use the code and you should use the code hype unit for making all your purchases because why would you do it to just support one person and use their specific code when you can support all of us. You can support about 100 people. And that's simple math to me, right? 
you can support one person, which is great, or you can support a hundred people. It's even better. You know what I mean? One hundred is greater than one. Simple math. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up. I'm not about this common core stuff, but you know, I can walk you through the basics. Either way, use use code hype unit. So we got partnered with them. Uh, we're on a you know uh, I can't go into details, but we need all the support from any of our fans to kill this uh, you know few months. You know we need to come out strong with G Fuel. That's what we need to do. Helping us in in these partnership acquisitions, using our code and stuff like this is going to help us continue to grow, continue to grow our esports team, our ability to send teams to lands, et cetera, et cetera. You know, anything even as small as using our code can help with that. So there you go. The last bit of news, possibly the most exciting for some of you, the hype recruitment challenge, hashtag hype GRC. That's what you're going to be looking for. If you are somebody who has wanted to get into hype for quite a while now, we have a recruitment challenge. If you guys don't understand what a recruitment challenge is, it's basically a challenge <laughs> of putting your content out and we recruit you. It's pretty self-explanatory, but if you don't understand it, check out the hype Twitter. There's a video on there that'll explain it. So basically, if you're a content creator, streamer, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, you just apply, put your content out there, use the hashtag HypeGRC. We check you out. If we like what you're putting out, we pick you up. If we don't, I don't know, keep working. Everyone has to, you know, don't expect just to grind only for the RC. If I'm looking at people that are presenting content for a recruitment challenge, I also look at how consistent they've been before we announced a recruitment challenge, and that means a lot to me, okay? I don't want... No, this might sound rude. No, I don't care. I don't look for people who specifically only grind because we announced a recruitment challenge. If you grind more, that's okay. If you were pretty consistent beforehand and now you're just amping it up, also okay. If you didn't grind at all and you haven't been doing anything the past six months and now all of a sudden you're, you're going to drop some videos like... I don't know, man. I, I need consistency. And to, and to the people that were upset because, you know, we're not specifically picking up designers. We're not specifically picking up editors, directors, etc. I mean, I made a tweet about this. If we're not picking up your specialty of what you like to do and are good at, why would you not just grind for the recruitment challenge as if it was for you regardless? What's the worst that hype can say? No. I can guarantee you we are going to say no if you just, you know, get pissed and stop grinding. Like, what? I don't understand what the end goal would be to you just not grinding. You can only grind because it's a recruitment challenge. It doesn't make much sense to me. So, uh, either way, the hype recruitment challenge. What I'm going to ask for in this video is for you to link your submission, your channel, whatever you have going for you in the Hyper Recruitment Challenge, I want you to put it in my comments. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a video, possibly tomorrow or the next day, where I'm going to cover in the video some of the potential recruits, you know, that maybe get the most like in my likes in my comments. So if you're at the top, I might look at the top three, the top five. I'm not sure yet. It depends on how many people leave a comment. If you are going for the hype RC, drop your stuff in the comments. You know, like some other people's comments if, if you think I should check them out as well. We'll do a video. We'll cover your content. We'll feature a bit of your content in the next video. I'll let you know what I think. I'll let you know maybe what I think you need to work on. And that's it. That's where hype's at. Recruitment challenge. We're blowing up on Twitter. We have sponsors and partners reaching out to us every single day. We have teams reaching out to us every single day. To people that are, are trying to grind for any other team. I get it. But 
Hype is going to be one of the next big teams. No doubt in my mind. Literally not a single doubt in my mind. If you are in Hype right now and you're watching this video, it's going to be good. I can't release too much information, and I would like to, but keep an eye on the videos. I'll release as much as I can or as much as I think the, the team would feel comfortable with. Keep an eye out for some new apparel. Can't give details on it yet, but keep an eye out for some new apparel with a, uh, you know, a company I'm really excited to work with, all right? If you guys enjoyed this video overall, though, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. If you got some feedback on the channel, but most of all, leave a comment down below if you're grinding for the Hype RC, like I explained earlier. If you didn't like the video, you know, subscribe anyway. You know what? We can all support each other even if you don't like my content. There you go. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.